Hi everyone, we're going to look at, in this problem, laws of exponents with multi-step problems. These are ones that, that involve all the other laws of exponents kind of put into one problem here. So you'll see fractions, we've got power to power, we've got multiplying, we've got dividing, we've got all kinds of different things that we're going to use to simplify these down as much as possible. Looking at the first one here, we're going to make the top here a little bit simpler by using this exponent of 2. So we're going to rewrite the x to the 6, k third, twice. So x to the 6 to the third because there's two of them because a little exponent of two means there's two groups of the inside thing. And the bottom will stay the same. Now for the top I'm going to rearrange the x's together and the k's together. And keep the bottom the same again. Now I'm going to use the multiplying rule here so x to the six times x to the six would be x to the twelfth and then k to the third, k to the third would be k to the six all over x squared k to the fifth. Now when you divide this, I'm going to divide the x's and I'm going to divide the k's kind of separately here to think about it as two separate fractions. Using our division rule, you keep the base, subtract the exponents, so you get x to the 10th, k to the 1st, or just x to the 10th, k, because k to the 1st is just k. The shortcut here for power to a power, if you don't want to write it all, all out like that, you could do this 2 to everything, so it would be x to the 6th squared and k to the 3rd squared over x squared k to the fifth and then power to a power becomes multiplication of the exponents so x to the 12th k to the sixth and then it jumps there just a little bit faster and then you finish it up and get the same answer for the next one here that two here is not inside the parentheses so it does not get that exponent of two only the things inside do so we're going to keep the two where it is we're going to square the three and we're going to square the x squared all over 6x cubed. Okay, so what happens? Well, the 2 is still there. 3 squared is 9. And then x squared squared is x to the 4th. All over 6x cubed. So this is 18x to the 4th over 6x cubed. And then when you sim simplify this down a little bit more, you can think of it as, again, two different fractions. 18 over 6 would be division, so that's 3, and then that's just x to the first, which is just x. So that whole thing just becomes 3x after you simplify all that down, because all the x's kind of simplify out, except for 1, and then the numbers simplify out to just 3. A couple more examples here. For the next one here, again, we got power to a power up top, so we can multiply those powers, so negative 21. And then on the bottom, I'm just going to keep that the same for now, just doing one step at a time. So 5 to the negative 21st over, multiplication rule here on the bottom says you're going to add the exponents, 5 to the 11th. And then when you're dividing with the same base, you keep that base and you subtract the exponents, top minus the bottom. So that would be 5 to the negative 32, which is kind of crazy, um, but it's that's the right answer, so it's totally fine. And then we're going to make it a positive exponent by putting it in the bottom, 1 over 5 to the 32nd. And the reason is really these these... Uh, fives just go to the bottom because of that negative exponents. There already were 11 down there. Now there's 21 more, which is why there's 32 of them being multiplied in the bottom. And for the last one here, just one more example. This two exponents is going to go to everything on the inside. So it's going to be 4 squared times r to the 7th squared times z cubed squared all over 2r to the 5th. That gives us 16 for 4 squared r to the 14th, power to a power, you multiply, z to the 6th, not 5th, be careful, again, power to a power, you multiply, over 2r to the 5th, there's no z's down here, that's okay, just use what you have, so what we're left with is 16 over 2, r to the 14th over r to the 5th, times z to the 6th, so 16 over 2 is 8, for our r's, again, if you're, division, if you're dividing with the same base, you keep the base, subtract the exponents. 14 minus 5 is 9. And then z to the 6 stays the same because there's no z's in the bottom to simplify with. And that's how we do it. That's how we do our, when we're doing a multi-step problem, we just use all of our rules, go step by step, and make it as simple as possible using positive exponents.